Hello, happy Monday. Let's see who's going to come on. A little music to start. Some zook. Oh, oh, oh. I hope you all are doing great. I hope you had a great weekend. It was nice here, although I have been busy. Say hi as you get on. If you want to say hi so I can say hi back to you. So I wanted to do a quick video on talking about maybe I guess I could remove this I'm not driving anymore I'm actually in the parking lot at Trader Joe's I have to go do some grocery shopping that I didn't get done yesterday and I thought I'd jump on here and do a quick live so yes I do feel like a fraud at times are you you know a coach or any type of other entrepreneur or maybe even just you know you're working with somebody you're working for someone or it doesn't matter you know in the self help self empowerment I prefer self empowerment over self help industry and when you're going through that journey of growing and really becoming more of yourself you are gonna find there's gonna be a time where there and there's gonna be many times especially if you choose to teach and coach and you know mentor things that you are actually that you've learned and that you are still growing in and maybe you've even because you know we're all a work in progress you're gonna feel like a fraud I know for me there are times that I do feel like a fraud because I could be teaching on something and I'm still working through it and one of the things that I have learned and that has really allowed me to still show up and be seen and still coach and still teach and still you know really be of service and to not beat myself up is to know that actually that's why I'm actually teaching this you know I remember once I was coaching someone and at the time she was going through something in her marriage and it made me think and as I was coaching her about around her relationship it made me think about a previous relationship that I had and how I did not show up the way I'm coaching her to show up but then and I realized well that's why this was actually brought to me you know because I you know I love it when I remember when I saw this quote by this quote by Yogi Bhajan where he says that if you want to master something teach it and that's why I thought it was so important not only to share myself and to say yeah there are times where I might um, lash out at someone and people come to me for my positive energy people come to me to know how sometimes they can manage you know how they can show up in a different way in in a relationship or something but I don't show up always as the love and light and it's all good and there was a time where I used to really beat myself up I remember once I was working with a relationship coach and I told him how I felt like a fraud um, even coaching at times because I was going through my own stuff and he said you know what and he said something to me that has stuck with me for a long time and that's what I wanted to offer you and I often offer my you know clients the people that I work with or friends is that you know he said to me Najeda you have different aspects of yourself and it's the same thing with you you have different options of there's a part of you that has mastered things and that's really you're great at and there are things that you're still developing and you're still working through and I know for me you know even when you know when we think that we've made it when that we think that oh I I got this I've mastered it then the universe God you know you get thrown a test you get to you know you get okay here let's see that let's see how you're going to react so we're constantly learning to grow so I don't want you to really keep yourself from going out there and getting clients going out there and really sharing who you are and being of service because you think you don't have it all together well let me tell you there's a lot of people that you may think they have it together they don't I know for me there are times that people come to me or they write something to me and I'm like oh like at this moment I may not I may have so many things going on with me and 
you know, they, they have no idea. And even if they did, it's like we're human. And you want to give yourself, thank you for the like. And thanks, Fabine, for joining me. I don't know who else who's here, whoever is here. So, yeah, I, you know, you have to really embrace yourself and be gentle and loving. And, yes, you will feel like a fraud. Hi, Rachel. You will feel like a fraud at times. And it's all good because it's part of the journey and you are not a fraud. It's the reason why you think you're a fraud is because that's your the perfectionist in you that is telling you that you're supposed to be perfect. Because I have to say, there used to be a time in my life and even now I find myself saying, oh my God, I should know better. That word should. Because it's sort of like you want, you're looking to be perfect. And you know what? I'm, I know for myself, I'm never going to be perfect because... It's about our embracing our imperfections. That's what it's really about. So don't allow that to keep you from showing up, to keep you from, if you have to take a step back, if you have to take a day, you have to take a moment, go for it, do it. But don't allow that to stop you, especially in the, in the entrepreneurial journey it's a tough journey and we you know I tell people I say it all the time and just the other day I was thinking there's no way I can escape my shit all of my shit comes up and I have to learn to still be able and to show up as who I am hi Tara hi Carmen you know I choose to show up as who I am and still know that you know if there's something that's going on my circumstances my finances, my health, whatever it is that in the moment isn't where I want it to be, it doesn't define me and it doesn't define you too. So get out there. It doesn't matter if you feel like you still need to, you said you're, you're going to keep growing. You're going to keep learning. You're going to keep, there's so many things. So get out there, show up because actually those things that are coming up with your clients or the people who are coming to you, whatever it is, those are the things that you need to be, you know, you're going to master by teaching them. So don't, you know, I often say, and for me, that's how I choose my coaches, people that I want to work with. They just need to be a few steps ahead of you. And same thing, if you're a coach and you're looking for a client, you know, you're looking, your clients, you know, you just need to be a few steps ahead of them. You don't need to be way up there and they're way down there because this is what I've experienced in my own journey. If my client, if the person who's looking to work with me is way, way, is somewhere where I'm really way, way past it, they're not my ideal client anymore because there's a part of me, and I have to be honest, that I've thought that, no, 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 I can't be because I'm no longer, like, it's like I'm too far ahead. And then I also experienced the case with somebody that I, um, that I worked with once where I felt, you know, I didn't realize that it was in the beginning of my journey. She was way, way, way ahead of me. So you want to make sure that when you choose the people that you work with, and the people that, you know, whether you're coaching them or they're coaching you is that it, the gap is not too, too broad because that's when you'll really be able to relate and learn from each other. As a coach, as a teacher, I say that I get so much. Yes, my, my clients pay me, my paid clients, but I have to also say not, it's not just the money. I get a lot, not just the reward and, you know, of making a difference and really being their partner. I also learn myself. So that's what I wanted to share. Let me see some of the comments. Carmen says, great topic. Yeah, thank you, Carmen. Yes, and Rachel says, yes, that's right. My motto this year, be youthful, be bold, be brilliant, shine bright. Don't let anyone dim your light. I know, definitely. And you know what, Rachel? What I would say to that is, let's not let ourselves dim our own light because sometimes we're the ones dimming our light by not showing up and by really allowing perfectionism to keep us stuck and to keep us from really sharing ourselves because we need bright lights we need people who are real we need people who are authentic that's what the world needs especially now more than ever so you know, people are not looking for what's perfect because then when you show up as perfect, 
they can't relate to you they might be saying oh well rachel looks like she has it all together or najeda looks like she has it all together carmen looks like she has it all together so i don't think they're gonna be able to relate to me but when we share that we've been where they're at or maybe we're even going through something right now but they can see our energy they can see what we have to offer they will work with us so that's what I wanted to talk about. Thank you for joining me, ladies. I see Christine is here as well. And enjoy, have a great week, and let's be the light. And let's remember, like Yogi Bhajan says, if you want to master something, teach it. And I'll say coach it, okay? Take care. Bye. Love and light.